Well, hey, uh, hey everyone, it is Katie Pye here. Uh, this is my first blog of my new site and my new online business. So welcome. Thank you for stumbling across my page. No doubt completely by accident or maybe you have been uh, waiting for me to get back on track. So here I am. Uh, as some of you might know, I am not new to blogging. Um, I have done uh, a fair bit of work in the background in my own world for a good few years and um, it's time that I actually moved through that and, and started in a different direction. So the last couple of years in summary, hi, I am I'm a 30 year old girl from uh, Wellington, New Zealand. I live in the country on my own with my two large dogs, Cujo and Beanie. Cujo is a white German Shepherd and Beanie is a rescue dog, a bearded collie cross bull terrier and they keep me very much on my toes. <laughs> uh, the last few years have been um, very, very, very um, ch challenging is probably the right word to say. They have shaped my current life uh, very much as it is and I am, I'm ready to I'm ready to do something about that. I'm, I'm, I'm stuck in limbo and I've, I've had enough of that. I'm, I'm not the kind of soul that can be stuck in one place for, for too long and it has been, it's been too long. For those of you who don't know me or my story, just a little bit about me and where I've come from. Uh, in 2011, I had uh, just broken free of a very difficult relationship um, for both him and I. It was um, on both parts. It wasn't wasn't good for either of us, but it was a two-year battle to um, to get free of that, um, and with a lot of property with property involved and in settlements and um, just a just a slow process that one. So finally, both of us broke free and we were ready to start our new lives. Um, unfortunately, two months after I managed to get a taste of my own independence and living on my own and in a in a new world again. Um, it was only three days after our house settled and, and all ties were cut that I had a motorbike accident. It was a, a, a very life-changing day, that one. I was out riding on my own on my new motorbike on my newfound freedom in this new world that I was just ready to get going in and I don't know what happened. I never will, uh, but I crashed pretty badly and I waited for rescue for six hours. I was lying down a bank off the side of the road. I was riding out the back of the country, uh, solo, riding solo. No one knew where I was. I didn't know where I was. So after piecing a few things together, I realized that I was unconscious for two hours. And then a friend of mine who I was supposed to meet for a drink at the pub has realized I'm missing. And they've come out looking for me and realized that I'm maybe in a bit more... Uh, need of help that I that I may have led on by a text message and then they've called 111 so six hours later rescue find me and uh, and they air airlift me by helicopter to hospital uh, where I was um, diagnosed with a broken neck a C2 fracture a handman fracture on the C2 um, a broken back in seven places multiple fractures through the T1 2 and 3 a uh, fractured shoulder a scapula, a shattered wrist, and a um, broken lower leg, right leg, with a very bad open flesh wound. Uh, the main fun for the next few months was I was put into halo traction for my broken neck, and that is a great big monster of a cage that changes your whole world as you know it. Breathing changes, eating changes, you can't shower for four months, you can't wash your hair, you start stinking and smelling, you can't drive. So that was fun, I lived in the country on my own, I couldn't drive, I couldn't look after my big dog, so I just managed to get home, you know, to live a new life together. And um, within five weeks, I lost my career. Uh, it was a voice message on a phone, and I'd lost my job of, full-time job of five years. They disestablished my role, which is, they were perfectly entitled to do. It just was a shock to the system while I was trying to process everything else. Where I've come from from there was it took me a long time to heal. Uh, physically, it was a lot quicker than mentally. Um, and I thought I was doing very, very well physically. And um, 
and I thought, yeah, I can do this. I, I can do this. I can get back on track. I can, I can, I'm invincible. I can do anything. Uh, then post-traumatic stress disorder hit me. Um, harder than I could have ever imagined. Then depression hit me. And then I uh, fell in love for the first time in my life properly. And I lost that love of my life. And, and things spiraled downhill very, very quickly. I was trying to learn a new career. I was trying to get a new job. I hadn't slept in 18 months. I live in chronic pain now. Uh, my dogs had become obese from lack of exercise. Uh, and financially, I had um, taken such a hit for medical bills and drop on income that I was starting to wonder how the hell am I ever going to get back up. <laughs> it has now been three and a half years and I'm very, very, very proud to say that I have just completed 200 kilometres cycling over two days, um, raising money for cancer research in New Zealand. I raised an awesome amount of uh, $12,400 that went to the Cancer Research Center in Auckland. Uh, very, very proud of that. I have learned to push through chronic pain. It's been very challenging. Uh, my two dogs are now happy and healthy and they've lost uh, 11 kg each. They've gone from obese to healthy and we're active and, and working hard to get the world that we once knew um, back within, within reach. So here I am, uh, blogging online, and I am. I miss. I miss my blogging. My my old website was my baby. It was my my baby. I spent years writing through my recovery, uh, through the ups, the downs, uh, for what people wanted to hear from me, to the actual behind the scenes, to actually, guys, I'm not coping very well, and this is me writing about it. So what I want to do now is I want to. I want to finish this off. I want to get through my recovery. I've done well physically. Um, I've still got a little bit to go mentally. I'm still rebuilding my world, my career, um, and and it's time to time to actually do something about it. And I want to help some other people along the way. So if you're currently uh, recovering from an accident, then it's certainly a very warm welcome to you, especially uh, as I know. <laughs> I know the challenges that, that might lie ahead. And when you're doing it on your own, it can be pretty overwhelming. So um, join me along the way as I, as I learn more about myself and um, get the confidence that I once had and uh, start to reshape my life that has, has taken quite a hit for, for three and a half years. Um, I'm, I'm ready to be in control again. So it, I've, I've met some amazing people that are going to help me along the way. And this is only just the start. It is now uh, the 15th of December 2014. Watch your space. Um, I'm going to be in a very different place in a few months time um, and, and it's going to be an exciting journey so it'll be neat to have you along. Uh, thanks for listening in and I look forward to touching base with you again soon.